Hello everyone, Dr. John Bartim is here today for the Functional Medicine Minute. Today we're going to talk about autoimmune disease and how we can regulate that and deal with the inflammation from autoimmune disease. Today I was finishing up with a patient and I had another patient coming in that was speaking to my front desk staff and she said that her 14 year old niece had just been diagnosed with lupus and she's in a lot of pain and she said I wish there was something we could do about the inflammation and I immediately told her there is something we can do uh, she just wasn't aware of this she wasn't aware of this because many times in the mainstream medical model uh, they don't have a whole lot of answers other than prednisone and, and very powerful steroid anti-inflammatories for autoimmune diseases instead of trying to inject and, and give people high-powered steroidal anti-inflammatories what we can do instead is deal with the root cause of autoimmunity which is dysfunction in the immune system okay so today we're gonna just draw out a quick picture at the immune system and how it gets out of whack and give you some quick clues on how to deal with that so the immune system can be looked at as an orchestra and an orchestra always has a conductor up front and he's telling different parts of the orchestra when to raise up and when to lower down and when to be in balance with each other. So we can use that analogy with the immune system. So the orchestra conductor are cells called T regulatory cells. Okay, And when your T regulatory cells are optimal and at optimal levels then they are going to be regulating the balance between say the, the strings and the woodwinds. Forgive me if this analogy is off, I'm not a musician. But for my purposes, strings and woodwinds are going to be um, balanced by the con conductor, which is the T regulatory cells. Now, the strings over here are going to be what are called your Th1 cells, or your Th1 side of your immune system. And then the woodwinds would be the Th2 side. Okay. Now, the Th1 side is your pro-inflammatory side of your immune system generally speaking and your TH2 side is your antibody side so this is the side that creates antibodies when you are exposed to say viruses or bacteria or any sort of antigen that that is causing an immune response so what happens here is in a normal healthy immune system Tregs are, are managing the balance between TH1 and TH2 Sometimes it's healthy to have Th1 go up, sometimes it's healthy to have Th2 go up. When they're functioning in balance, that's healthy. In autoimmunity, many times what happens is we have a polarity where one side or the other becomes dominant, and we also at the same time have T regulatory cells that lose their control of the orchestra. Okay, so maybe individual instruments or individual groups of instruments go rogue, and T regs lose their control. So at a very fundamental level this is what autoimmune disease is so instead of um, giving people high powered steroid drugs one thing we could do is use nutrition and lifestyle to regulate polarity of the TH1 TH2 response and help support increasing the functionality and optimization of T regulatory cells so this is today's functional minute I hope you learned something. If you are interested in what exactly are some strategies to boost Treg cells and deal with Th2, Th1 polarity, then check out my podcast on the subject. That can be found at johnbartimus.com or on iTunes, search Accelerate Health. Thank you and have a great day.